another episode of Rebuilding Portsmouth. Now, um, I'm still waiting on the results of my little straw poll thing because that episode still hasn't gone out yet at the time of me recording this because I've had to record a little bit ahead. So that means that I still, I'm just continuing with the same pattern that I would usually use for these matches. So that means that there's only, you know, two games to talk about in this episode. So I do apologise for that. And I will be fixing this once I kind of know what you guys want to see more of and stuff, you know, that way I can create the best videos I can. So we do still have some stuff to talk about this month though, but it is mainly matches because I haven't signed any more players. I'm happy with what we've got. Um, it is just a question of waiting for a couple of players to come back from injury. And Lucarelli's just come back from the Olympics where he actually got, um, he was top goal scorer at the Olympics. He got six goals for the Italians, which is really impressive and well done to him for that. Um, so that's awesome. So he's back. Uh, Santos is still out, which is disappointing. But I think once he starts playing for us, him and Archubi with Vanos in the middle after that to come off the bench. My God. Um, I'm thinking like I'm looking at the team now and I'm looking at where I need to strengthen. Uh, again, I'm looking ahead here because I'm looking at where we need to strengthen potentially in the January transfer window, maybe or next season. And I'm thinking at the moment that main potential spot might be centre midfield uh, because as good as Borja Gomez is, Milton Peralta's starting to decline a little bit or in terms of his ability compared to the rest of the players. So I might need another the centre mid. Um, that being said, Peralta has nearly... Oh, he made me a very happy man this month. But let's get straight into things. Um, also, that reminds me, I made new kits. We have new kits now. It's finally happened. Now, I don't know, you might think these are shit, but the point is I spent a couple of hours yesterday designing these new ones for us. Now, we're going for a sort of classic kind of dark blue with the... Uh, we've gone Nike this time. I think we were Nike before, actually. But yeah, we've gone for the more conventional style kit. We, I, the only reason I picked the sponsor was just because it was a nice and easy one for me to find a... Uh, um, one, it was, yeah, nice and easy to find a PNG of their uh, logo. And two, I was placing bets last night and it just got in my head. So, yeah, there's that. Um, so, there we go. Basically, yeah, nice. I just inverted it, basically, for the second kit um, to go for a sort of white. But I wanted to try something a little bit different for the away kit. So, we've gone with a, a more, con well, a different sort of yellow, basically. There are 3D match kits. Now, when I tried it in the first 3D match, for some reason, the top and the shorts were different colours. I don't know why, because they're not different colours. Um, and I think it was something to do with the lights, because when we played our second game this month, which was against Arsenal, which was during the day, it was completely fine. And they looked nice. So I don't really know what the problem is with that. But, you know, so those are the new kits. I hope you like them. That's, uh, I was tempted to put Champions League badges on them, but I genuinely forgot to do that. Um, but, you know, they still look, I think they look quite snazzy. So, yeah, Portsmouth going forward. We'll keep those for a couple of years. Now, Going into, and actually here's an interesting thing, captain, vice captain, key player is Tony Vancic, and our hot prospect is Kyle Nurse, and I'm not surprised about that, he looks like he's got some real quality in him. Right, so, um, let's get straight into the fixtures that we've had this month. Now, we've only really had two, but the key one was this one, away at Lazio, we needed to come up with something big here, and... I personally think we probably could have done better. It wasn't a classic performance by any stretch. Um, it's a win, and it's the away, which is kind of crucial. But I would have liked to have maybe had something a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more conventional. However, what I would like to point out is that Lionel Messi was on the other team, as well as Bilal Ulshik, which I'm pretty certain he's like a wonder kid on this game, if I remember correctly. Oh, you'll notice that also I've... Um, changed the uh, colours on here. So basically, red means poor, uh... Orange is average stats, yellow is decent, and green is obviously excellent. So someone told me I should do that, and there you go. Hopefully that will give you a better idea when you look at the stats now. So that's a little change I've made. He's, he looks decent, um, but I think we could, oh, he's got a lot of positions he can play, so that's what I would say. So let's get straight into this game, and I'll show you what happened. Like, I was disappointed with one of the goals. Like, Lazio were definitely a decent side. They created a lot with very little. As you can see here, the shorts are, for some reason, I don't know why, a different colour. I genuinely don't understand why that is, um, because they were fine in the next game. So I, I don't know. Maybe it's because of a clash. I, I honestly don't know. Maybe that maybe that genuinely is what it is. It was a clash, kick clash or something like that. I don't know if the game has that kind of dynamic in it. But my point is, we started off this one incredibly strongly. And I think we maybe could have won by more goals. But at the same time, they had more clear-cut chances than us. So perhaps they should have maybe even done better than what they did. Um, Van Ossi with the ball through here to Millington, who has started this season just so well. Ball out wide here to Ola Aftret. Ball back across. And there at the far post was... Uh, Augusto Archubi to score his first ever goal for Portsmouth and I'm hoping that that will be the first of many because um, he started the season well then no some flares there flicked on header there from Ola after that is caught by Mere in the goal for Lazio and I don't know what after it's doing there. it's a wonderful little dance he was doing in the bottom corner long ball downfield knocked down by Lionel Messi of all people ball they were spreading the play quite well here Olshik's ball through and Tunkara with a good finish that uh, Bigger Belongo was unable to keep out unfortunately uh, it's his first competitive game for us I wanted to give Lucas Vega a bit of a rest and play Belongo in Europe um, 
That being said, though, before half time, some more good work down this right hand side. Van Os gets the ball here, knocks it across. Millington, and what a hit that is. Millington has got a real shot power on him. I don't know what, like, obviously, I don't think there is a shot power stat, but my God, like, both the goals that he scores in this game are incredibly powerful strikes. Then, just after half time, we're winning 2 1 now. You know, two away goals, always nice to see. Gomez here takes the ball down. Eventually, the ball is going to get played. Really nice work, actually, to work this ball back into a decent position. Out to Connor Barnes. Barnes drops it in to after it. First time touch on for Borja Gomez. Vanos round the corner. Millington just smashes that in the top corner for 3-1 Pompey. And I was really happy with that. And if we'd have managed to stay at 3-1, I would have been very, very pleased. Unfortunately, we conceded one of these goals. You know the sort. The crossbar. And yeah, you're never not going to concede those, unfortunately. So... You just have to accept it. Um, Lazio were good, though. Um, but we did have a lot more shots. But I don't know. Like I mean, we had quite a few half chances, too. And we scored more goals than them. And that kind of sometimes is all that really matters, I guess. Um, that being said, I'd probably be complaining. And then again, I wouldn't have been really complaining because we've had very little in terms... They would have, you know... We would have had very little in terms of actual shooting chances. Um, but there you go. So we won the game. And that was great. Now, next up was against Arsenal in the league. And I was desperate. And I mean desperate to win this game. And I'm not disappointed because we didn't win. Because if you look at the stats, it was about even. Um, and therefore, a draw is a fair result. And I was disappointed against Arsenal, really. Because they played the tactic that we like. And we've had a good record against Arsenal over the last couple of seasons. So I was, again, disappointed that we didn't win. Um, but the most... Well, sorry, not dis disappointed that we didn't play better. Like, on the night, it was... Sorry, not that. As you can see, the kits now are exactly the right colour, so I don't understand what was going on at Lazio. Um, the goal that we score to go ahead in is absolutely wonderful. And, you know, if he can do this all season, then I'll happily accept it. Archubi's there, ball in here, comes back to Milton Peralta. First time strike on the half volley, and it's 1-0 Portsmouth. And we didn't really create that much after that. I also had some really good chances, and Vega made some insane saves. I was just disappointed with the way that we conceded our last goal. It was poor from us, and we should have done better. Uh, we shouldn't be letting them score goals like this. That being said, it is an amazing strike from Oxlade Chamberlain, but I think maybe the goalkeeper should have been in a better position for that. And to concede it in the 91st minute was disappointing, because we were about to get ourselves a win over Arsenal. And I really, really wanted that, because that would have set us up for the perfect start to the season. After what happened against Brighton, I really wanted to kind of push on from that. And it's, it's disappointing. Um, but hopefully that isn't going to affect us too badly because this year I really do feel that we can challenge for the title. And that was the first sort of crunch game. You know, the big games this season are Arsenal, Manchester City, Chelsea and United. We need to take points from those games, basically. The six games, sorry, not six games, eight games, basically, against those clubs. I want to take at least sort of 12 points from those games. I don't know, actually, I'm not entirely sure. Like, if we just do well against them at home or maybe nick a point from them away from home, it is really tough to say. I don't think we're going to ever have the luck like we had before that one season where we were actually winning away at City, away at United, away at Chelsea. Those results just aren't going to happen for us this year. Um, or maybe they will, but maybe we'll deserve it rather than getting lucky. And all that basically brings us to today against Lazio. Now, it's, it's going to be tough, um, but I think as the home side, we should, be, we should have the better of them. Now, obviously, we'll do the Champions League draw after this if we do get through. And I'm saying if because I'm still not entirely sure. Lazio have played well, and they do have Lionel Messi. So let's take a little look at the stats. Top goal scorer is Norman Millington with 5-3. in three. He started this season a lot, a lot better than last year. He's really got off the ground. He's, he's hit the ground running this year, and I'm hoping that he can hit another 40-odd goals for us this year in total. Uh, after that, Archubi, Gomez, Pep Lopez Souza and Milton Peralta all have one each. Assist-wise, Afteret and Van Os have three each, which is great. It's great to see Ola Afteret um, really taking that role on the left with open arms. He's doing well. Um, player of the match, most player of the match was, of course, is uh, Norman Millington with two. Uh, let's see, yellow cards, Avantage and Lopez Souza with two each. No red cards yet. Average rating overall is Van Os with an 8.3, which is great. Key aerial challenges, Lopez Souza and Robert Gray. It's interesting to see Robert Gray on there as well, actually. Key passes. Now, look at this. From our first three matches, Gerald Van Os has already played 25 key passes, and Archubi has actually played 13. Now, what I would like to point out here is that Ola Afflet has played on that left wing uh, for all three of our games so far, uh, in place of Santos. And just look, he's had four key passes in three matches. Santos, look, that just shows you how important Santos is to us, really. He has such a great eye for a ball, and as good as after that's been, he has created chances, but... The key passes that Santos will bring to this team and the amount that Augusto Archubi is contributing, those three across that attacking midfield line are going to be absolutely crucial to our success this year, basically. If they can put as many key passes in as they can and Millington can keep banging them in, we should have a hell of a season on our hands. Key tackles, uh, eight for Robert Gray. Connor Barnes has done a few too, 
few good ones too, which is also good to see. Interceptions, Robert Gray is, of course, the interceptor, and thus is flying off his 69 interceptions in just three matches. He's going to be into the hunt. Like I think maybe you can even get like a 1,000 interceptions this season. Who knows? As for value, I've added this in here. Santos is the most valuable, but he's up there with quite a lot of other people, which is great to say. I mean, people like Van Os, it's £20 million. He's only like 19. Uh, mistake season to goals, Peralta, Mm, that's a shame and Ola after that I want to keep that down to a, a minimal uh, if I notice one player is getting a lot of those I might have to start looking at them but that brings us to today against Lazio now they play an interesting type of system but it, that being said that is what it looked like when I uh, <laughs> that they actually played 4-4-2 against us so I'm not going to take that we're going to take that with a pinch of salt shall we say let's just do a quick pick and see who we got so Belongo will come back in Barnes, Lopez who's a great Marcelo Ivancic after that oh interesting that's an interesting one. After that, we'll drop back into the centre because Borja Gomez is still a little bit um, knackered, basically. Lucarelli will come in on the right. Archubi to the left because he can play there and play there well. Van Os, I'll tell you what, I actually quite like this idea. That's the beautiful thing about this now. We actually can move all these players around in these roles. And Archubi, I still don't know if he's fully natural on that right-hand side yet. He's still not quite getting... He's getting there, but he's not quite got there. Damn, he has some good stats. Like, nothing in the red at all. His marking, penalty taking, and tackling are a bit low. Bravery and composure. But everything else is very, very good. I'm really pleased to have him on board. And he's not exactly uber young either. He's 26, so he's got a little bit of experience for us as well. Let, let's do this, guys. I think we should have enough to beat Lazio on the night as well. So I, I don't think... But you never know, because you know what this game can throw up. You, you've seen what's happened before. So hopefully we will... Um, we won't. Hopefully we won't need any luck, but... Um, oh, they actually are playing that system today, Sod's Law. Um, well, it, I don't think it should matter, but we will have to wait and see because this could actually end up costing us. Because they actually put that, my scout scouted that system basically in the last game, and they ended up playing four four two anyway. So I'm a little bit worried about that, but we can always adjust in in game if things do need an adjustment. I'm interested to see how Luca Relli fares today. He's certainly come on leaps and bounds over the last few months, and preseason he's looked very, very good. Millington almost, all, almost got in immediately there, and a good tackle in the end from Daly Blind. And well, what a chance for us in the opening seconds of the game. I think if we can score first, we'll put a lot more pressure on them. Barnes, can he whip a ball in? He can. Millington back to Archubi. Oh wow! Oh. There was some really nice football from us there. Millington and Archubi there linking up wonderfully well. And after it, now Vanos, Archubi, Millington around the corner. Will he strike it again? He does. Um, Portsmouth have flown out of the traps here against Lazio. This is good to see. Uh, of course, Va Vanos will be lurking on the edge there. Oh, it's a first-time effort. Oh! And another good strike from Vanos there. He's so dangerous. When they don't mark up that man on the edge of the area, which they don't seem to be doing from corners, I think there's a chance for a Vanos long shot in today's game. That's what I'm looking for. I'm thinking that could be, uh-oh, Messi with a free kick. Ball in. Varane, header, and it's... Oh, my life. Are you joking? I was offside. Thank God. Um, didn't look like he was offside to me. Um, I thought he was on... Oh, it's him. Sorry, I got confused with the other guy that ran across his path. Yeah, he's definitely offside. Um, Belongo, well, it was a great header from Rafael Varane. You can't knock him on that. And you notice that the kit um, is actually correct this time. I don't know why it was like that in that first game. Um, I'm looking for... I want to see what the other kits look like, but we've played in our home kit in all three of the matches I've used so far. Um, being over in midfield, well, they are actually getting a lot of possession. That's what I would say. Lucarelli with the ball in. Interesting that Archubi didn't take that. Back out to Ivancic. Can he slide a ball into the channel? Is there anyone there, or will he have to cross it himself? After that. Around the corner for Archubi. Back to Vanos. After it through. Ivancic into the channel. Vanos turns. Strikes it. 1-0 Pompey. Gerald Van Os with his first goal of the season and the Wizard of Oz strikes again. It's 4-2 on aggregate now. That's important for us to get that first goal. We would not let them clear their lines. That's what we need to see. Evanchich there with a good ball in. Van Os so composed and I can't believe Lazio didn't close him down earlier than that. He is genuinely one of the hottest prospects in Europe right now. I'm not even joking. And we're in a great position to keep hold of him. Lucarelli's ball in again. That's a really poor one this time. Evanchich needs to win that and of course he will do. Um, after that, Van Os, not another one surely, no. Uh, long ball downfield, intercepted by Ivancic, who's just, oh, Tony Ivancic, he's just becoming an absolute monster in that mid, he just intercepts everything, Marcelo's ball across, Vanos and the, oh, he's in there again, it's 2-0 to Portsmouth on 20 minutes, and Lazio have had not a single shot on goal at all yet, and wow, this is a great ball in from Marcelo, but for Vanos to be getting two goals today, just gets across his man here and drives that into the net, two goals for Gerald Vanos, and ho, 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 ho. What a prospect he is. And he's just getting better and better. And he's won the ball here as well. Lucarelli whips it forward for Millington. Can he run? Can he run at anyone? Or will he just play the ball into after it? There's a man running down this left-hand side. And surely you've got to find Archubi. 
Afro's going to go himself here. Oh, drops it back for Archie. Ball inside. Millington on the header. Oh, nearly 3-0 there. Should have been... Pa- it probably deserved a goal. Vanos with the header, and it's tipped over the bar by Mere. Vanos is up for a hat-trick today, I tell you. Uh, I'll tell you what, Archubi, ball to the edge of the area. Vanos to strike this, surely. Oh, goes for Millington instead. Millington turns, turns his man. Ball is ricocheting all over the place in that box. Don't really know what happened there, and it's a corner kick in the end. We are absolutely battering Lazio here. Um, if we don't get three or four today, I'll be very disappointed in us. Um, I want us to make sure we... Oh, and that's going to be another corner here. Yeah, they're on... They need to change something, but after half an hour, they've had not a single shot in this game. Um, and it's another corner for us. But, that being said, Sodzlo, they will probably score with their first shot on target of the game. It's just how it is. Another corner. Vanos again on the edge of the area. Will he strike it? Will he strike it? No. Drops it short for Lucarelli. Lopez Souza knocks it down. And Gray. And, oh, it's in the back. It's Lopez Souza. 3-0 Portsmouth. And, well, it's been coming. Lazio have been utterly terrible. They haven't been able to handle us from corners. Their, their formation has not worked. Um, I'm thinking Vanos has got another goal in him today. He very nearly did it there. Good strike here from Robert Gray. Well blocked, but it's coming in at the back post. And Lopez Souza there, linking up with his defensive partner. And it's 3-0 now, 6-2 on aggregate. And it would take four goals from Lazio now to rip this one away from us. And they really haven't deserved anything from this game. Messi is a danger man. Well, is he? Because he's done nothing today. That being said, he'll probably go pick this up and score now, now that I've said that. Um, we've actually done well keeping him quiet so far, but he only needs a second. And we know that. Lima cleared away. And that's going to come into Van Os, who knocks it forward to Millington. He's made a run himself, and if Millington had been a bit more aware, he could have maybe knocked it over the top, or he might well, he might still do it. Ah, Mokwena, intercept. Where's Tony Vancic when he needed? Oh, Connor Barnes is in there instead. Uh, after that now, people make, make, a, make a space. Van Os around the corner, perhaps, from Millington. He does find Millington. Oh, and it was a good strike there from Millington, but a little bit poor in front of goal. You know, we've considered we've scored three goals today um, and dominated the game. Millington hasn't really been at his best if Vancic needs to win this header or drop Actually, he did even better there. Notice how he immediately dropped straight in behind Gray, um, as there was no guarantee he was going to win that header. <sighs> Get to half-time at 3-0, and this game's in the back, basically, at that point. Let uh, me guess, long shot? Oh, good save. Genuinely well done. And then we've stopped them from scoring with their first shot of, uh, on target, which is always nice to see. And it's a great save there from Bigger Balongo, too. Um, he's sort of my, my European goalkeeper at the moment. I've... He's started both of our Champions League games so far, and he's done a bloody good job. Um, he's made some decent saves, you know. Um, oh, thank God. That was an injury for them. Well, does he does he keep finding space? Because he hasn't found much space in our team yet. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a great first half. Two goals for Gerald Van Os. One for uh, Miguel Lopez Souza. Awesome. Just perfect stuff. I can't I couldn't have asked for a better half than that. Um, I'm just going to make sure this isn't on extended. No, we're on key. It's just been a really good half. We probably maybe even could have had more goals, but 3-0 is totally fine by me. I will accept that with open arms. I wouldn't mind seeing another in the second half, though. Intercept that Lopez Souza into advantage. After it has done very well um, in the midfield today. Ball across from Millington. A great save. Lucarelli tries to get on the rebound, as he does relatively well, generally. Um... I've got to say, I've been impressed with after that today. I really have. Playing in that centre midfield, he clearly does have a, an eye for that position too. And maybe we don't need to strengthen there, but I would like to have another player there. Because um, once Tercio gets better, I'd like to think that he can play in that sort of central attacking idea. Potentially. Now, who's knackered? Van Os is knackered, in fact. And Right, what we're going to do is we're going to bring on... We're going to move up after that into that role. I'm going to bring on Peralta... Uh, or his Porsche. No, we're going to bring on Peralta in the centre here for Van Os. As good as Van Os has been, I want to make sure that he stays fit for important league games coming up. We're 3-0 up in this game, so we can probably afford to give him a rest. And cleared downfield. They're not going to score four goals, I wouldn't have thought, in the next 18 minutes. I know we've done it. and I will, Oh, Messi's through, and that's an easy goal for Lazio there. Uh, it's 3-1 here at Fratton Park, but still. Disappointed with the defending on that one. Letting Messi run off of them like that was a bit... Poor. Oh, my, the space they left Messi in. Best player in the world. Well, probably still is one of the best players in the world. You can't afford to let him do that. Um, but looks like we're going to get a highlight straight from the kickoff. As long as it isn't them scoring. Maybe it's going to just be us going up the other end. Peralta is on now. After it, slightly further up the pitch. If anything, in a position he's more comfortable in Peralta. Is there a ball or will he just strike it himself? He does, and it's a good strike, but it's gone wide of the post. Um, I'm going to make... Oh, we've got another chance there. Hmm... Tercio can play in the centre as well, so we're not exactly lacking there. But Straighten isn't really fit, so I'm going to bring on Garincha, just because Lopez Souza is looking a little bit worse for wear. And again, can't afford to get those guys injured. Lucarelli whips that ball in. Archubi there with the header, and it's a 
penalty. Oh, if only Van Os was still on the pitch, he could have had his hat trick. I don't know who number seven is. I can't remember who number seven is. Is it Peralta? I think it's Milton Peralta. I feel like it's Milton Peralta, or is he number five? I always forget the numbers. That's something. Oh, of course, we're going to take ages over the penalty. No, it is Milton Peralta to wrap up the Champions League. Oh, there we go. 4 1 to Pompey. Great goal from Peralta. Well, not great goal, it was a penalty, but he's done what he needed to do. Um, he's a scorer of important goals, and that one for me just takes the edge off this game now. Puts us in a really comfortable position. 4 1 on the night, 7 3 on aggregate. We are going through to the group stages. Not that there was really any um, doubt about that, I wouldn't have thought, but you never know. You know, anything could have happened today, but we've been really solid. Um, Robert Gray with a great interception. There's a poor out ball, though. Um, Ulshik beat on Roni up to Messi. Round the corner for Tunkara, and it's a miss from him. They have come on a little bit. Lazio have been better in the second half than they were, but they've still not exactly lit the stage up. I'm going to just uh, get Marcio on here for the last 10 minutes because uh, Millington's actually had a really poor game. Despite us scoring four goals, he's not been good. Messi has been the... Oh, there we go. Tunkara gets one back for Lazio. That's poor. Um, but we really do need to stop doing that. They've created a lot of clear-cut chances in this second half. But unless they've got another three goals in them in the next ten minutes, I think we should be okay. Um, I don't let them come too close back into this game. There we go. Ball up to Afret. Go on. Ah, oh, poor. That's... He should have done better. Downfield, win your header great. There we go. Where's Ivancic? He's not mopping up quite in the same way as he was before. I'm guessing he's a little bit tired, but... Uh, Tunkara with the strike. Messi on the rebound. Yep. 4-3. Oh, Jesus. And they're having a go at it, but... I just... You know, it doesn't matter. They're not going to score more goals than this. That being said, I'm still disappointed in us from going 4-1 up to actually let them. Obviously, they were going to come at us. Maybe I should have played more defensive once we got 4-1 up. But once you get 4-1 up, you generally don't feel the need to. Oh, my God, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, what a save that is from Belongo. Um, just to be sure, to be sure, to be sure here, I am just going to go on defensive and waste time for the last two minutes of this game because they've actually really come at us. In this. Oh, and another save from Belongo, I think it was. They're determined to get something out of this, and fair play to them. They've really come back at us. And maybe even deserve something from the match itself, but they certainly don't deserve to go through. Uh, they were... Oh, good tackle. Win that ball. Win that ball. Ah. They're not going to get two goals in the time. Remember, what are you doing? Stop leaving Messi so open, Jesus. We've got a minute to go and they'd have to score twice. So we're only going to squeak through here. 7-5 on aggregate is quite a large scoreline. Belongo at times has actually been our saviour. Um, but we're going to win the game as well, I hope. Um... A little bit disappointing to concede those goals. Um, poor defensive laps, but there is Lionel Messi after all, I suppose. I, I'm going to use that knowledge, but I think maybe we should have tweaked things a little after we went 4-1 up. It's just you don't normally expect them to um, be able to break you down all of a sudden. But they're oh my life, stop letting Messi through. He's handled that well outside the box. Please don't get sent off. Please don't get sent off. He's going to get sent. That should be a red card, surely. That has to be a red card. Um, but we've got away with that one there. 4-3, and we really should have been down to 10 men because I don't know what Belongo's doing there. Just kick it! Um, we've got through, though, and that is the key part. Key thing to note here. Let's just see who else has gone through with us, uh, or who else has gone through with us today that we can see. Anyways, so who else is through? Uh, Dino Zagreb are through. Maribor are through. Well done, guys. Um, hang on. How did Slovan... Oh, no, sorry. I was thinking of my Red Star save. <laughs> um, Maribor are through. Red Bull Salzburg are through. And so are PSV Eindhoven. Dortmund, though, are out, would you believe? So there we go. And I will join you guys in a sec where we will be doing the Champions League group stage draw. So back in a minute. Right, guys, we are back. And this is the group stage draw. Let's have a look at who's in the Champions League firstly. So City, Chelsea, Juventus, Spurs, Barca, Man United, Atletico, and Bayern Munich. Why are there fucking... Did... Spurs must have won the... God almighty. Spurs do... Have, they, they, this is the second time they've done that. Um, won the Europa League and as a result got into the Champions League. So four English sides in the top pots there. Which means that we're limited to the number of groups we can even be drawn into, it would seem. Uh, in the second pot, we've got Paris Saint-Germain and Sampdoria. Okay, that was probably why Lucas Vega wanted to join him, I guess, then. Uh, Real Madrid, Benfica, Galatasaray. Wow, they're doing high. Uh, Shakhtar, Moscow... Uh, sorry, CSKA and Internazionale. Third season, Sporting, Porto... Ajax, oh, we're in the second pot now. That's good. Wolfsburg, Eindhoven, Club Bruges, and Dinamo Kiev. That's good. I'm, I'm liking the fact we're in the second pot. Uh, not second pot, third pot. Valencia, Olympic Marseille, Dinamo Zagreb, Maribor, Aberdeen. Got into the group stages. Well done. And AEK, uh, AEK Pilsen, and Salzburg. So, let's see what we can do with this, guys. I'm happy that we're in the third pot. But it does mean we're going to end up getting a really tough group, basically. Um, Man United, I mean, who are the groups? We Bayern and Barca 
are the only teams whose groups we can be drawn in really. Oh, Atletico, I, I'm liking Group F. Um, at the moment, F, please. Uh, oh my God, not that group. Please, not that group. Um, I'm, F is the one I'm liking the look of at the moment. We could be up against it. Or D. F or D would be quite good for us at the moment. I'm, I'm liking the look of... Oh, yes. F or D, please. Galatasaray and Sampdoria, I would take. Please, F or D. Right. We can't get drawn into this one. Or this one. So, F or D look like the best options. Yes! I'd take that. Although I would have preferred F. But D, I will take. Sampdoria, I think we could beat them over two, leg, uh, over two games. Do enough to get into second place. Uh, let's see who we're going to get as our third team. This is quite important, actually, because if it's Valencia, we could struggle. Or, or Marseille, for that matter. Oh, it's not going to be. It's going to be one of the weak sides. It's AK Athens. That should be very, very good for us. No offence if you're an AK Athens fan, but they are very... Uh, in comparison to us, they are not a good side. Um, so there we go. That's not a bad group, actually. Munich, Sampdoria, Portsmouth, and AEK. It's basically, you'd have to say, between us and Bayern... Um, for the top spot in that group. And it's going to be tough, though, against Bayern. It's not like it was before where we got PSG. Bayern is going to be tough over two games. But, I don't know, you never know what we can come up with. Um, I don't know if that's actually been put into here yet. Um, no, it hasn't. So let's just quickly continue one um, and see if we can find out where those games are going to be played. So it should be now Portsmouth to face Bayern, Film Scout and Report, Attacking Movement, that's fine. Uh, let's have a look at the schedule now. So where's our first game of this group? And it's away at Bayern Munich. Hum... See, this is the problem, because I don't know what games to do. Like, should I do the Bayern Munich game and then Sampdoria at home? Or should I do the Manchester City game in the Premier League? It's That's my problem. Um, I won't tell you what I'm going to do now, because I might have got the results in from that poll, and as a result, I will base my decision on which game I'm going to do based around that. Or maybe even the Capital One third round, who knows? Um... But mm, I don't know. It, it, we'll see. So, guys, if you like what you've seen, please drop a like on the video. And if you'd like to even on that, please subscribe to my channel for more Portsmouth and Red Star Belgrade in your inbox every single day at 5.30 and 8 o'clock. And I will see you guys in the next episode for a game which I have not yet decided on. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.